The men's superclass field for the sixth stage of BMX Australia's national series had an Olympian, a couple of former Aussie champs and one of the country's form riders, ensuring the event would be a highlight of the action at Southern City BMX Club. And the final did not disappoint. Rio Olympian Bodie Turner was the biggest name in the field, but it was longtime rivals Brendan Tohiko and Shane Rosa who loomed as the pair to beat. Oh, looks like Bodie, look, Tohiko's got this down the whole shot, but Rosa's into the two there. The New South Wales, I think it's page for uh, the... Alex Cameron moves into the three, sorry, as they come down third straight away. It's all Tohiko with about three bike lengths. Rosa moves into the two as they come down. The New South Wales battling each other. There will be Jack Avis and Alex Cameron takes us to the stripe. Tohiko revealed post-race how much pressure was on the riders. The nerves got the better of every rider. I was one of them as well, like just came through, hit the gate. But from there, we just drag raced all the way to the first jump. And from there, it kind of seeded us into our positions. In the women's superclass event, rising Queensland teen Kiana Botfield took another step closer to winning her second national series title of the season to go with the junior elite crown she won earlier in the year. OK, Gage Snopes on the final of the superclass women. Botfield's got a great start there. I think it's uh, Kiana Botfield. Tennille Botfield's in the mix there also. But it's the 4-4. Nine on the plate there, 419 of Alice Rockoff's in the two. Kiana Botfield leads, they'll pack through the second straight away. Second corner's been in good. That's for Kiana Botfield on the 632. And then we got Rockoff in the two as they move down through the third straight away. It's the 282 on the plate. That will be Georgie Potter moves into the three. But the battle's been moved for the three. Who's it going to be to the door? Who's going to get the transponders? I'm not quite sure. Leave it there. One of the things I wanted to do this year was to win both, so it'd be pretty cool. While the big guns featured in the superclass races, a number of riders competed in both 20-inch and cruiser events, including visiting New South Wales rider Isla Barca. The youngster not only took out her final in the 10 years girls, beating the 11 years girls field at the same time, but also took time to take on the boys in the cruiser event. On the local front, there was plenty of good performances, none more so and that of the host club's Cooper Beaton, who stormed a victory in the 12 Years Boys event. Into the first corner they go. Oh, Cooper Beaton swipes there, low high, 7272, AJ McDonald out there in the two slot, battling down the second straightaway. Who's it gonna be into the second corner? Oh, moves have been made like Jagger, but it's little Cooper Beaton on his home track. He's ripping down the third straightaway now. They're coming at him, the 48 machine there of Whitney. He's coming at him there, it's Campbell Whitney, but it's Cooper Beaton, Whitney in the two. And then it's AJ McDonald, battle of the transponders. The National Series now heads to Canberra for the finale in October.